My name is Dirk Heitkamp. I was uh, I started a car wash franchise uh, about 2010, I guess. Um, I've been actually working in real estate off and on, mostly as a hobby on the hobby side. Single family uh, residences from about 1985, I think. Started out with my first property that um, I became a reluctant landlord. I uh, wasn't expecting to get into it, but. Uh, when I did, uh, it was a house that I needed to move out of. I uh, rented my house out and uh, that was the beginning of my real estate career. I didn't really take it seriously. It was occasional house here, occasional house there. Uh, gone through a bunch of the training that we have here in Houston with uh, different people who were doing classes and stuff. Uh, got into a little bit of rehab work, flipping, uh, wholesaled a couple of houses, um, owner financed a house, you know, tried to dabble a little bit in everything. Again, never really got serious about it, uh, probably until about five or six years ago. I got my uh, real estate license then, just wanted to get the same tools that all the uh, real estate agents had to evaluate properties, which was kind of my main thing, as well as find properties, uh, but never really got a lot of traction. It was kind of a one-man show, so it's a little bit harder to do everything yourself in addition to doing everything else that you're doing. Well, I actually joined up the uh, Sugarland meetup group that they had first. I had known... I didn't know Robert then, I didn't know Jason before. Um, I knew him with Right Path. Uh, wasn't a part of the organization, but I knew him from that. And, you know, just being around town, Houston real estate. And then we had to meet up and that's kind of how it all progressed as they were trying to get their act together and, and uh, form, formulate the mastermind in the first place. I was one of the initial members. Um, I think we initially had like 10 people. I like the way that they analyze the entire business aspect of it. Analyzing properties, when you have some other businesses or other work that you have to do, um, you can't really be everything that you have to do for real estate. So, uh, because there's a lot of different kinds of things that you have to pay attention to and, and they fill in a lot of the holes um, with doing that, both in education and services and everything that they provide. Uh, probably the biggest thing, biggest hole that they filled was uh, going through the process and uh, giving you the confidence to know to go from one step to the next. So one of the first things that you need to do and uh, that they encourage you to do when you get here is to figure out what you want. And I didn't know that. And I really didn't figure that out until I was about three quarters of the way through the first year. And then uh, trying to figure out, well, what do you want out of real estate? What are your goals from this? And you know, once you start getting into the process, it becomes more clear. It was something that I developed. And as I went through it, I did get more clear on what I wanted to do. And of course they have their thing, with the 10 houses and all that, that was very good and focused and gives a lot of clarity to everybody and it's a good starting point it's a good starting point so that's where i'm kind of heading and i'm probably going to go past that quite a bit this year i think so there's no question that you won't have answered uh, there's no roadblock that they can't have removed i encourage you to fill out the application and and have your call and then the first thing you're going to do is have your talk with uh, jason and rob